Oh, come on, smile. I know you don't smile too much, but you must have enjoyed that one tonight. Yeah, it was a very important victory. You know, the past week have been very um, difficult for us, but it was good to, to, to win and win big, you know, and also as forward players to, to, to get some goals um, in the net. As you said, it was an important game, not just because it was a cup game, but because it was against a big opponent and we put in a fantastic performance, everybody. Yeah, you know, um, of course, they, we knew that we, we were playing a very good side, so we had to be um, tactically dif disciplined and, and, and very strong defensively, you know, because you could see we had to um, defend a lot today because they, they, they had more parts of the ball, but mm -hmm. we were still effective with, with some part of the game that we had, you know. It actually looked like the, the tactical approach worked pretty much as we hoped it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I said, they, we knew they were, they were very good on the ball, so we had to be very compact so that they can't um, go through that. And I think we, we, we did that pretty well and we took the chances we got. You were part of that press in the first half and in the second half. And, uh, you know, it must give us so much confidence when, when things that we try on the pitch come off. Yeah, 100%, you know, we've been putting a lot of efforts in it in the training. So it's good to see it work. And there's a new game coming up. So we, we put this aside and then we focus on the weekend. Hello guys, welcome back to SportsCon and GH. My name is Adam. So guys, you just watched Mohamed Kudus react to his goal and also his performance for West Ham against Arsenal. In today's video, I'm going to reveal to you the next team West Ham are going to meet in the Carabao Cup and also Mohamed Kudus' performance in that game. He won that way with the man of the match. We are going to talk about that live here on SportsCon and GH. We're also going to talk about Antoine Semenok and also I'm going to share with you Good news concerning two black star players, Daniel Kofichre and also Jordan Ayu. Last year on Sports Connect GH, we are also going to talk about Usman Bukhari. And also lastly, we will talk about the Black Queens, their next opponent in the third round of the Olympic 2024 qualifiers. Last year on Sports Connect GH. So guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much and may God richly bless you. In the month of November, our giveaway is still ongoing. Comment under this video and any other video we drop here on Sports Connect GH and start a chance of winning yourself a free jersey of your choice. Very, very simple. Please make sure to participate. Winners from last month have started receiving their jerseys, so please make sure to participate. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it and I'm going to begin with Mohamed Kudus. Yesterday was fantastic. Mohamed Kudus scored a goal against Arsenal. It was a high-profile game and Mohamed Kudus came up on top. He performed very well. If you have asked every single West Ham fan and also a Ghanaian fan, of Mohamed Kudus, though, that way to tell you that Charlie, that game Mohamed Kudus sold the victory for West Ham because as at one though, they were still, you know, liable to even concede a goal. But when Mohamed Kudus scored the second goal, the whole team had the vent to be able to score more goals, making it 3 1 at the end of the day. Now, after the game, fans were asked to vote for their man of the match, and Mohamed Kudus was voted man of the match, so he has won that way with another man of the match award after starting and also playing very well for West Ham. And I'm very excited that Mohamed Kudus is, is, you know, is taking advantage of the fact that he's starting games and also using the big stages to make a name for himself because everybody is going to have Mohamed Kudus on their lips after the game against us now. Now, the next opponent West Ham are going to face is Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. And that is another big game. And I would love to see Mohamed Kudus do this once more against another big club, which is Liverpool. So, guys, we are, we are expecting more from Mohamed Kudus. More goals, more assists, more good performances like this. And we hope that more of this come as he continues to try being played for West Ham. So, guys, this is the latest update concerning Mohamed Kudus. Moving away from this, let's talk about Antoine Semenyo. Antoine Semenyo played for Bournemouth and started for Bournemouth against Liverpool. They lost that game by two goals to one. And Charles Semenyo didn't play the full 90 minutes. You can see his statistics on your screen. Um, and Charles Semenyo started this game based on the, the performance he gave on in the previous game for Bournemouth. 
Based on the previous performance he gave for Bournemouth, he was allowed to start in today's game. But they were meeting a very tough opponent in the, in the team of Liverpool. And you know Liverpool this season, they are all great form. Even though they did a little bit of tweak to their starting lineup, they still had quality on the pitch to be able to seal their victory to the next round of the Garabo Cup. And Liverpool are going to meet West Ham in the next round. But Antoine Semenyo was quite good. He wasn't that bad in the game because they were facing a higher opening. So you would not expect that he would get more touches or more dribble attempts successful in all those things. By the end of the day, what I'm excited about is that Antoine Semenyo has some playing time under his belt in a very you know high profile game which is Bournemouth versus Liverpool. So guys, that is the latest update concerning Antoine Semenyo. Now let's move away from these two players who played in the Carabao Cup and talk about some good news. Daniel Kofichwe is back. I'm so excited. See, if you are looking for one happy person this morning in Ghana, I'm the person. Yeah, I'm the person who is the most happiest in Ghana Karen. Daniel Kofichwe is back. In fact, the coach of Friday has given an update on Daniel Kofichwe. He did that before they played their game yesterday. They lost that game anyways. But then, Daniel Kofichre's coach, which is the coach of Freiburg, says that Daniel Kofichre is undergoing a running training. That means that he can now run without feeling any pain or any trouble like that. So, it is progress. Now, the training he's doing is running and then they will take it from there. He also added that they don't want to rush Daniel Kofichre. Yes, they don't want to rush him. They want him to complete his rehab process very well so that he doesn't get injuries like this again. So guys, very soon, this is what he said, very soon, Daniel Kofichre would be back on the pitch playing, but he didn't give an exact date. But I'm just happy that at least he has started running, he has started training with the Friday team. And I mean, I'm just excited for this news. From now to, let's say, December ending, I believe we could hear a proper good news on Daniel Kofichre probably starting games for um, Freiburg and also play in the Vandos Liga. So guys, this is a very good news concerning Daniel Kofichre because we need creating midfielders in our Black Star setup for AFCON January in Ivory Coast. So guys, moving away from this good news, let's move on to another good news and I'm talking about Jordan Ayew. Now, Jordan Ayew plays for Crystal Palace and Crystal Palace released a report that Jordan Ayew has extended his contract with Crystal Palace and you know Jordan Ayu has said that he's delighted to be in Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace has also said many things about Jordan Ayu. Let's not forget Jordan Ayu is one of the integral players for Crystal Palace. He's also one of their captains. You know and he's doing so well. Last season he did very well for Crystal Palace. This season too he's also doing so well for Crystal Palace. And I'm just happy that at least this is some good news concerning Jordan Ayu. You see, when you are performing very well, the team would like to keep you and then they also try to extend your contract. This contract extension comes with, I know, some benefits that the whole contract doesn't have. So, definitely, Jordan and I would enjoy more benefits as compared to the other contracts. So, this is just good news concerning Jordan and I, and I hope that he continues to score, perform very well, give assist for Crystal Palace and then continue to perform that way also for the Black Stars. So, guys... This is good news concerning Jordan Ayu. Now, moving away from Jordan Ayu, let's talk about Osman Bukari. Osman Bukari played, uh, plays for Red Star Belgrade. And they played against Baka Topola. Now, that game ended in a 1-1 draw and a lot of you know, investors are not happy. Investors are not happy. They are asking why Red Star Belgrade didn't win that game. Because it should have been an easy win. Let's not also not forget... Osman Bukhari is just coming back from injury, so he's being managed. He didn't play the full 19 minutes of Boca Kremi. Even when he was playing, you know, they scored a goal, but then when he left, you know, the attacking prowess wasn't there again as compared to when Osman Bukhari was on the pitch. We hope that he is fully, like, sharp, you see. There's a difference between being match fit and being match sharp. We need his match sharpness. As, as long as Osman Bukhari is match sharp, he is a very good super sub for the Black Stars and also a very good player for Red Star Belgrade. So guys, this is the latest concerning Osman Bukai. Lastly, let's talk about the Black Wings. Now, the Black Wings won an aggregate right zero against Benin to qualify to the next round of the Olympics 2024 qualifiers. Now, their next opponent they are going to face is Zambia. 
Yes, they are going to face Zambia in the next round in quest to qualify for the Olympics 2024 in Paris. So guys, our black players definitely, they know how to do their job. So far playing about 9 games, those 9 games, they have scored close to 31 um, goals. They have not considered any goals and they are really doing so so well. And I'm excited to see what they are going to you know, do against Zambia because that is one matchup that I would love to watch. So guys, this is the latest update concerning Black Stars and Ghanaian players. Let me know your thoughts concerning Mohamed Kudus. Antoine Semenyo and also Daniel Kofichu and let me know your honest thoughts about him. Jordan Ayu, Usman Bukari and also the Black Queens. Life here on Sports Club at GH. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we go vibe.